In this video, we're going to write code in Excel VBA that allows us to extract unique values from a column in our data set. And what we eventually want to do with those unique values is then perform a sum if based on those unique values. So you can see here I have a data set of purchase orders by branch location. And you can see there's multiples of the same branch because each branch makes multiple orders throughout the year. So what we want to do is extract the unique values of branches from column A and paste them into column E over here to the right and then perform a sum if on those unique branch locations to get the total purchase amounts by branch. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit Alt F11 to go into the VBA editor window anywhere in this project window I'm gonna right click go to insert and then module we'll call this subroutine get unique gonna begin by declaring some variables first one is gonna be WB it's gonna be as a data type workbook I'm just gonna represent the workbook we're in now next one is gonna be called WS it's gonna be as data type worksheet it just represents the sheet we're on now going to have one called RNG for range. It's just going to represent cell E1, the beginning point of where we want to paste our unique values in. So we'll set our workbook. That is going to be equal to this workbook. Our worksheet is going to be equal to our workbook. And then worksheets and the sheet we're on now which is called purchases I'm going to set our range that is going to be equal to our worksheet and then range E1 because that is the starting point of where we want to paste our unique values once we have them So we want to get the unique values from our worksheet and then range column A. And we want to use the advanced filter method. And the first argument we need to define is the action we want to perform. That is Excel filter copy. Then we have our copy to range argument that is our destination we want to copy that range to the unique values from column A2 which is going to be our range variable and then finally we have our unique true false value which is going to be true because we want unique values so now what we want to do once we have those unique values in column E is determine the end row because we don't know at this point how many unique values we're gonna have so we need something dynamic here to get the number of unique values we have in column E so I'm gonna declare a variable called end row it's going to be as the data type long and end row is going to be equal to our range variable which right now is cell E1 and then we're going to end Excel down and that will take us to the last cell in that column and then we're going to get the row number so at this point all we want to do is from row 2 all the way down to the end row because we don't want to perform a sum if in row 1 because that will contain our header we want to insert the sum if function from 2 to our end row so we're going to use a for loop our counter variable we're going to begin at row 2 not to get our headers 
it's going to go from 2 to our end row. So on our worksheet and then cells, our row index is going to be our counter, which begins at row 2, and then our column index is going to be column 6 because we want to insert this in column F right next to the column, column 5 or E that contains our unique values. So we want to set that equal to the worksheet function and then sum if. And then we have our three arguments for our sum if. First one is going to be worksheet and then range. This is our criteria range. So this is going to be column A. That's the column that contains our branch location. Our next input is going to be our criteria, which is going to be our unique values in column E. So that's going to be worksheet and then cells. And then our counter variable, which begins at row 2, goes to our end row for our row input. And our column is going to be column 5 because that's column E, which has our unique values. Finally, our last argument is our sum range, which is the amount column, the order amount. That is column C. So it's going to be range C. And then we have our next counter variable, which this will then increment from 2 to 3 and repeat this step all the way to our end row. So I'm going to F8 through this so you can see what this code is doing. So once I execute this line of code, we should see our unique values populate in cell E1 beginning. And there they are. And now we have our end row currently set to 0. It's now set to 9, which is the end of our unique values. And now we're going to go through our for loop, insert a sum if function beginning in F2 and going to F9. And there it is. So that is how you can create code in VBA that allows you to extract unique values from a column and then perform a sum if function on those unique values. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.